Building your army is quite the task and there are multiple factors that decide how your nemesis or follower will turn out. Last time we talked about the class bonuses. Two main factors decide your org mostly, which are the tribe and the classes. And the class can be divided in class bonuses and advanced class bonuses. And in this video we're taking a look at the advanced classes. There are 10 of them, which are the Assassin, Beastmaster, Berserker, Commander, Destroyer, Marksman, Savage, Slayer, Tank, Tracker and Trickster. As mentioned, these classes decide most of their class traits, which you will be able to see on screen. The Orcs who ply the Assassin's trait decapitate their enemy's leadership, often literally. Masters of subterfuge and stealth, assassins favor ambush tactics that leave an enemy warchief or overlord dead before his retinue even knows what happened. Assassin orcs rarely last long unless they master the art of escape as well, fading into the shadows or fleeing faster than their pursuers. Their ability to hide is so peerless that they can be difficult to spot, even in the wraith world. Beastmasters harness Mordor's deadliest beast. Caragors and Grugs for Sauron's war effort. Success is not guaranteed, however, trained beasts are rare in Mordor's armies because so few of them survive the training at the hands of Beastmasters. But when a Beastmaster has trained beasts at his disposal, he can safely leave it off the leash, lurking nearby. The Beastmaster might seem to be alone, but he can call upon a lethal menagerie to defend him at a moment's notice. In keeping with orcs crew on nature, the beast masters are as adept at killing beasts such as ghouls and drakes as they are at taming more pliable beasts. Berserker orcs lash out in anger at the world around them, using that rage to fuel an array of heedless charges, mighty throws and sweeping attacks that leave only ruined enemies behind. These orcs are beyond reason in battle, possessed by a fury that orcs have come to fear. These orcs are at their most dangerous when they are clinging to life by just threat. The same rage that powers their attacks can heal their wounds when those desperate blows land. Rarely encountered alone, commanders make the Uruks around them fight harder through mere presence. They direct the grunts under their command to coordinate their efforts, making simultaneous attacks and surrounding enemies. Some commanders keep nearby reinforcements in reserve in case of a surprise attack, and few use themselves to draw out enemies before calling in a gang of orcs to turn the tide of battle. They are also the most ambitious orcs, eager to ascend through the ranks and resentful when someone hinders their progress. High ranking commanders get promoted when their boss dies in battle or has a little accident. Mordor's armies, and indeed orcs themselves, are made for one thing, destruction. The orcs who take on the mantle of the destroyer use fire and explosions to wreak havoc among their enemies. Fond of explosive traps and thrown bombs, destroyers don't always take heed of the other orcs who may be caught in the blast. Destroyers are usually injured to fire themselves, yet they love nothing more than to watch their enemies burn. To say nothing of Middle-earth itself. Orcs are suited to melee combat by both training and personality, but some orcs train with crossbows and javelins to give Mordor's armies a ranged complement. These marksmen are snipers and sentinels, careful to stay at a distance that's safe for them, but lethal to their enemy, especially when they augment their projectiles with poison or explosives. Other orcs can be submissive of marksmen, questioning their bravery and effectiveness. But how those orcs can change their tune when a timely arrow saves their life. Or they fall silent when you get a javelin to the back of the head. Slayers live for hand-to-hand -hand battles and the clash of blades. They take pride in the finer points of melee technique and are capable of blindingly fast counters and strokes that leave an enemy defenseless. When the killing blow comes, it's often too fast for the enemy to see, let alone stop. These orcs often disdain mass troop tactics and archery as beneath them. For the slayer, the only real fight is one where the strength and skill overcomes an enemy one on one. Bred and trained to withstand punishment, some Uruks wear the heaviest armor from Mordor's smithies. Wounds that would fell an ordinary Uruk don't slow them down. 
they are battle hardened and less likely to flee combat, but they are also less likely to fly into rage when confronted with something they dislike. The scouts and skirmishers in Mortis armies, trickers are capable of moving over land at great speed and directing the columns of troops behind them where to strike. Where they excel, however, is after the battle is over. Once an orc army roots its foes, the trekkers spread out and chase down the fleeing enemies, ensuring that no one survives. Trekkers are almost preternaturally aware of their surrounding and are difficult to surprise. Some carry harpoons to reel on their prey and where you can find a tracker. Other Uruks are rarely far behind. Trickster orcs pride themselves on their cleverness, employing all manner of ruses and escape techniques to confound their enemies and live to fight another day. Some of their tricks require agility as they fall and dodge to stay out of harm's way. Others put orc inventions and cunning to use with an array of smoke bombs and traps for the unwary. Camouflage and misdirection are also key tricks and trickster orcs can be hard to spot, even in the raid world. With the trickster, we come to the end of the video. As you probably noticed, some of these classes have less traits than others. Why this is, we don't know either, but some of them have epic traits that are unique to their specific class only. But that's for another video. Let us know which of these advanced classes is your favorite. Mine has to be the tank, because I want to combine it with an Olokai with the epic trait Thick Skinned for extreme levels of tankiness. Anyway, let us know what you think of this video by rating the video and commenting down under. To keep up to date with our content, consider subscribing. And if you want to know the exact minute we upload a video, we recommend clicking the notification bell. For now, thanks for watching the video and we'll hopefully see you in the next video. Peace out. Oh! <laughs>